it beca- the third movie becomes a boxing movie. But the first two movies aren't boxing movies. No, it's a, it's about a person. Yeah. It's about Balboa. Yeah. And that's why he hit it on the head when he brought back Balboa. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. Like, he brought back those first two Rocky movies. Yeah. And that's why he's had success. You know what I mean? With yeah. these movies later on. Yeah. No, I agree. It's, I mean, Rocky Four was atrocious. <laughs> I mean, Rock, Rock, Rocky Four was like it was Stallone taking advantage of like you know flag waving patriotism at the time. Yeah. Like I mean, and and like you know, the Russians were the perfect like you know villain. So you, I don't blame him for writing that movie. I mean, is it as good as Rocky One and Two? Good Lord, no. Do I enjoy the hell out of that movie? Fuck yes, I do. <laughs> I don't as much as I enjoy Rocky Three. Like Rocky Five is the one that I find to be atrocious. Yeah, that was bad too. Yeah, that, that's oh, a, that was awful. That's a horrible movie. That's the one with Tommy Gunn. Yeah. Remember how dumb like he like made Rocky? Yeah. Like horribly. Yeah. It was like he just he was just way off base. <clears throat> yeah. Like, the way Rock like, is when he owns the restaurant is more of how I would picture Rocky Balboa. Yeah. Like, it's, like, you can see from the fights from one and two, three, and yeah. then going into what is Rocky Balboa. Yeah. The one with Tommy Gunn was, like, annoying. Yeah. Like, he was kind of like, it, oh. It's a horrible film. Yeah. Like it, it, it just is. Like I, oh, it's so bad. It's, it's indefensible. Like I could defend Rocky Four to a certain extent. I could defend Rocky Three to a certain extent. There's only one part in Rocky Five that was good, and that's when the train passed. And yeah, then Mickey goes, "Get up, kid." You know what I mean? Like yeah. that. That whole get part. up, you bum. I didn't hear no bell. Right. Yeah. That was the only cool part in that entire movie. Yeah. Like those 10 seconds? Yeah. That was the movie for me. Previously else... so, previously fo- seen footage of Burgess Meredith in Rocky 1 is the best thing in Rocky 5. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? horrible? It was the best thing about that movie. That was yeah. it. But man, Rocky 3 was good though. He just the only thing that bothered me about Rocky 3 was uh how weird he looked compared to the second one. Yeah, because he he got in the shape. Well, yeah, that and all the facial reconstruction or whatever. Yeah. I mean, dude had some work done. Yeah, he went from looking like a tomato can <laughs> to, you know. No, I don't know what. Yeah. It wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that and the, uh, the old Apollo Creed hand grab on the beach. Like, I didn't really understand that part either. Even yeah. as a kid, I was like, why are they jumping at each other? Rocky and Apollo running on the beach in the ringer socks up to their knee. Oh, the ringer socks. And then, you know, like, when Rocky made it through his training after I the Tiger was done, like, he was killing Apollo, like, you know, running-wise. Yeah. And then they got to the so-called part of the beach, and they just started fucking jumping and touching yeah. each other. <laughs> A bunch of labyrinth cocks up in the air and <laughs> the fuck? Those, those short shorts from the eighties. Oh. Yeah. Oh. The ones you had to wear a jock strap with. <laughs> yeah. Like I just I it was just so weird. That part was just the weirdest to me. But I love Mr. T in it. Oh yeah. I did. That was his his best performance. Yeah. In any over eighteen. Yeah. Especially when he calls out Adrian at the press conference. Yeah. Hey, woman. I was I was like, damn, dude's got some balls. I remember yeah. seeing that first time. I was like, oh, he's calling on his lady. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that dude's badass. Yeah. yeah. Then he does the old, did, he did one of these. He was like, yeah. What a real thing. Like, damn. <laughs> 
Like when he just stands there looking, I got nothing but pain. I'm like, yeah. Oh, shit. He did. He fucking pulled it off. Dude. Yeah. Tell him. Clubber line, man. And like the set, like the funny thing is, is like, I understand it's acting. But it's like he never went back to doing anything even remotely close to that. Like he could have had a career of, of being the badass. Right. And instead, I mean, he went to completely like 360. And made cereal. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> he made like he, he went he, he went the whole route with like, you know, the A team where he was kind of like the, you know, the lovable um yeah, badass. Right. Yeah, yeah. But then there was nothing after that. Oh, that, but then he does this. This is the strangest fucking thing. Well, you couldn't be more than five. You're so fat they have to jack you up to take off your shoes. Yeah, well, you're so skinny, your eyes are in single file. Well, you're so ugly, your ears stick out to get away from your face. Well, your Good mama work. is so... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't there bring is. anyone mother into this. She ain't here. If it wasn't for your mother, you wouldn't be here. So remember, when you put down one mother, you put down mothers all over the world. And now I know. I bought... <laughs> I know. I mean, it's great, but. Oh, yeah. I forgot about his rap. That's just tremendous. Like, he didn't do anything after that. No, like I mean, like I mean, he became a cartoon character. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it, it's like it's like such a fascinating career to me that that's the direction he decided to go. And like he 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 was found at his clubber Lang. Yeah. And he did like a complete 360 and went this direction of being like this, you know, this like. And it's great to be with that student that decided to be a positive role model. And I'm I'm sure like you know that, that's awesome. But still like. From an acting standpoint, like he could have done so much more, and he didn't. Right, I know. You know, he kind of remained in character. Yeah, like he became Mr. T the rest of the way. Yeah, it's a shame. He was in yeah. wrestling for a little bit too, right? <clears throat> oh yeah, I mean, you know, WrestleMania one, he was in the main event with Hogan and um. Him and Hogan were a tag team against Roddy Piper and uh, Paul Orndorff in the main event at WrestleMania 1. Mm. And then at WrestleMania 2, he boxed Roddy Piper in a boxing match. And then that was it, I think. Oh, do you remember them shots of T coming in? Oh, yeah. Balboa, Rocky Three. Yeah. That fucking with, with his mouth open with the guard. Yeah. Ah, like pounding. Oh yeah. That's oh, classic. It was. I'm she. I'm a huge Rocky fan, but I mean, like, I don't know why either. I mean, you can see the fucking how bad some of the shots were. Well, I mean, I mean more importantly, like my dad told me one time, because like I, at the time I wasn't watching boxing, but like you know, I thought all boxing matches were like Rocky. And my dad was like, people would be dead. <laughs> like, like you, you can't fight like this and live. People would be dead. <laughs> you know, this, this is completely fictitious. You understand that. I'm like, but look at what he does. Like, he, like, like that man would die. Rocky Balboa would be dead, and it would be all over the news that he died in the He'd ring. He'd probably because... be dead the first time he fought um, Apollo. Yeah. Because Apollo, like, <clears throat> I don't know how Balboa ended up being in, what was it, heavyweight? 
Or is yeah. that middleweight? No, he was a heavyweight. Yeah. I don't understand because, I mean, everyone that knows Stallone, he's like 5'2". Yeah. Right? Yeah. And his reach is not fantastic. No. You look at fucking Carl Weathers. That's a big man. And he has long arms, man. Yeah. I mean, like, long. And so, you know, and if you look how much in shape Apollo was, especially during that first fight. Yeah. I mean, Carl Weathers was in shape for those movies. Yeah. I mean, he was he was ripped. Yeah. And <laughs> Balboa would be dead. Yeah. And, and Balboa wouldn't even be able to throw a punch. No. He wouldn't even be able to reach him. You know what I mean? But at the same point, it was still it was still good. Man. Yeah. I'll let it slide. Yeah. But I mean, like it's like it was like just funny because like I didn't know anything about boxing and like I'm watching boxing I'm like this is nothing like a Rocky movie. I mean, that's like that's because that, that's fake. Those people would be dead. <laughs> you know. Hey, I'm the one that wanted Apollo to win. Yeah. Like they can't go 16 rounds without using the fence. <laughs> you know. You have right. to have defense. Like you can't you can't just leave yourself open to shots like that for 16 straight rounds and expect to be alive. <laughs> no. You know. Uh-uh. Like, I oh, can just okay. remember the makeup on that mash face at the end. Oh, oh yeah. Brutal. I'm like, yeah. Good lord. I'm like Rocky Dennis. <laughs> oh, it was horrible. <laughs> Apollo had a goose egg, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Rocky looked like he got burned to death. Yeah. <laughs> like his fucking skin was wrinkled. I mean, it was just like slough. It was awful. Is there a hole in each other? Ain't gonna be no rematch. I don't want no fucking rematch. <laughs> you know. Doesn't uh, this second one open them open up with them in the hospital? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they both had to go to the hospital because they beat the fuck out of each other for 16 rounds. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, sp- speaking of things from our childhood, the one story I want to cover. Uh-huh. Um, somebody came up with the idea that they want to do a Smokey and the Bandit TV show. Oh, Jesus. Now, unfortunately, there are some big names behind this, including Seth MacFarlane and um, – David Gordon, who was the uh, director of Pineapple Express. David Gordon Green. Um, producers will include Danny McBride and Jody Hill. Now, look. <laughs> there are two problems I see with this. Problem number one. There is no way, and I mean no fucking way in hell, you could ever remake a Smoking the Bandit. It's just it's it in a, in these politically correct times it doesn't work, All right? And two, there is nobody, and I do mean no fucking buddy who can play the bandit except for Burt Reynolds, God rest his soul. Yeah, there's no way to. it. It can't be done. I'm all for soft reboots from time to time, and I'm all for remakes from time to time. I've I'll, I'll work with you on it, but this is one of those things you just can't fucking touch. Yeah, I just I don't see it happening. You you Speaking can't. Of rebo- Jerry Reed. <laughs> I just watched Hot Stuff. Oh, it, there's a an Ian Bellamy favorite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what? I don't know why. Mom liked it too. But what was that on? I watched it on YouTube. Oh, okay. Through just- my TV. Yeah, yeah, I figured it was, yeah, but still. Yeah. I put it on. I was like, Mom and I used to watch this all the time. Classic. I see his ample chat, dude. Next, next week you're going to tell me you rewatched Little Shop, um, Festival Horror House in Texas. Nah, that's coming. That's coming. But, <laughs> dude, I love Don DeLuise, period. I know you do. I know you do. And you I, know. I think he's one of the funniest fucking people ever to walk this earth. No matter what he's doing, I don't care what yeah. he's in, whether he's yeah, playing get, a cartoon voice or somebody like some cameo. Yeah, he's fucking hilarious. Yeah, you you were yeah. always there for Dom DeLuise. 
I was, dude. I just yeah. 